everybody this is Tracy here with another edition of a view from Tracy's point and today we're talking about a two-year-old little boy who is missing from St. Petersburg Florida so you guys know this one hits very close to home even though I don't know little Taylor Mosley um, this is my city and so we are all on high alert and being vigilant in looking for this little boy and so the search has been going on for about a day now um, authorities continue to search for him in St. Petersburg while also investigating the murder of his mother. An Amber Alert is going out for two-year-old Taylor Mosley, who hasn't been seen since Wednesday. Um, police said the child could be in danger and the search is underway for his whereabouts. On Friday morning, St. Petersburg police said while there is nothing new on the child's location, Detectives are following up on leads that they have received. Um, the child's mother, 20-year-old Pashawn Jeffrey, was found dead Thursday afternoon in her apartment at Lincoln Shores in the 11600 block of 4th Street North. Um, police said they have been in contact with the child's father and that he does not have the child. However, he remains a person of interest in the case, authorities said. And then um, Police Chief Anthony Holloway was quoted as saying, I can tell you it was a very violent homicide scene within the apartment, uh, but we cannot find the two-year-old. So right now, that's our main concern. And so family members told police they saw the little boy and his mom at their apartment in Lincoln Shores about 5.30 p.m. on Wednesday. On Thursday afternoon, family members called the apartment manager saying they had not heard from Jeffrey. When they went to check on her, they found her dead inside and no sign of the toddler. Taylon is two feet tall and weighs about 300 pounds, Lord Jesus, 30 pounds. Um, authorities said they are not sure um, what he was wearing. According to authorities, neighbors said they heard a commotion coming from Jeffrey's apartment on Wednesday night, but no one bothered to call the police. Um, police said they believe Jeffrey was killed inside her apartment. Authorities said forensic crews are working inside of the apartment and fire department dive teams are checking ponds in and around the apartment complex. Holloway says authorities do not know for sure if Taylon was home at the time of his mother's death. Meanwhile, the massive search for the child continues to expand. State and federal agencies are now involved as well. Crews are using police dogs and drones as part of the search. Um, Holloway said that Jeffrey and the toddler were the only two people who lived at the apartment. Investigators have been following different leads that have been called in. Um, anyone with information in this case is asked to contact the St. Petersburg Police at 727-893-7780 or dial 911. And so you guys, that is Taylon's picture on this video. So if you see this little boy, you know, anywhere in Florida or outside of Florida, they have no clue. Um, my gut feeling is that they think that the father has done something to this little boy and there is a large body of water on the property of this apartment complex so they are checking that um you know to see if maybe his body is in there praying desperately that that is not the case um, this apartment complex is also on a somewhat busy road and it's near um gandhi boulevard which is sort of like a highway that connects um, 275 and Gandhi Boulevard, you know, in that part of the town. So you can get off on 275 onto Gandhi Boulevard if you want to 
go to Tampa in a, you know, be in South Tampa, I should say. Um, so it is a relatively busy street. There's a lot of apartments out that way. And so the fact that, you know, the highways are nearby and they haven't found the body lets us know he didn't like run out into traffic and get hit. Uh, neighbors say that they last saw him on Wednesday, but nobody knows if he was taken from the apartment. It's just a really, really scary scene. If he was even there and witnessed his mother um, get murdered, it's just just a scary, scary situation. I haven't heard a lot on the news as far as family members. I think um, one family member did speak out and said that, you know, they're just desperate to find him. I haven't found anything on whether or not this was an abusive relationship between her and the child's father. They're not naming him. Well, I, I think they did say he's a formal person of interest in the case at this point. So hopefully he hasn't done anything to this poor baby and they find him safe, you know, but the more time that passes, that is, you know, hope kind of um, dwindles away because where else could the baby be? Like if he didn't take the baby to a family member or a friend, seemed like that person would have spoken up by now and said that they have the child. So we're just going to pray for um, Taylor Mosley um, and just horrible, horrible situation. I don't know why people can't just leave people. Like, why can't you just break up? Why does everything have to be so tragic and so violent? It just, oh my God, it just doesn't make any sense. So guys, um, that's it for me. Um, just prayers for this little boy, prayers for the family that he is found safe and, you know, and just pray for the police, you know, in their vigilance and trying to find him. So go ahead, leave your comments below, rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.